Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? We're back with some more Blade and Soul, and this time we're going to be talking about the legendary items slash legendary upgrades that you can do to your um, to your weapons and accessories. Now, the legendary drops are going to be increased. Every single legendary accessory are going to have a very high increase um, in drop rate, and um, well, that's at least what and what the uh, you know what the uh, Twitch. The Twitch stream or the the, the hour-long stream that they said it's gonna have. So we're gonna have a lot more better chance of getting a uh, a legendary drop out of these after the um, update, which is tomorrow. Are you guys excited? It's freaking tomorrow! Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, so tomorrow there's gonna be another video. We're gonna talk about. I, I will literally explain everything again tomorrow. So then, so then, um, you guys can understand it and stuff like that will be nice and dandy. All of the accessory from every single dungeon that can drop legendary accessory will have a uh, a higher increase, a higher chance to drop legendary accessory now, because I think they felt like um, they they didn't get enough you know drops out of them, and you know each time they drop it's like you know thousands and thousands of gold that's gonna be dropped on them. So um, that's that's the main thing here. So um, accessories. Very very good. They're, they're gonna be increasing the drop chance. It's gonna be fantastic. And um, here's what here's the other great part. Even if you if you guys' luck are so bad like mine, right? If if your RNG Jesus does not give you the praise, the power that you need, then um, you will now have a new item. Now this item will drop every single time. I think that's what they said. Make sure, like, go, if you want to make sure that that's correct, you can go and check it out. I will leave a link in the description where you can watch the entire thing. Um, so you can, you guys can know the update as well. Um, but if your RNG is so bad like mine, you will get this item. Now this item will correspond to each, uh, to the dungeon that you're doing. So, if you're doing the, let's say, Desolate Tomb, you will get this item. Now, I don't really know what they're gonna call the item, I just know it's an item that you will be able to obtain each time you do a run, and you're gonna need a very large quantity, excuse me, you're gonna need a pretty big, um, qual quantity of them to be able to get this. Now, this is why I say, that if your RNG is bad, if your RNG is that bad, after a few hundred runs of Desolate Tomb, or like 60, or I think it's around 60 to 50 runs, right? You will get the accessory just like that. Now, why why is that? Because you get this item. This item you can go to your Dragon Express and you can exchange it for the legendary accessory, which is very nice for the people who will never probably never get it unless they actually do that because. You know, RNG is not a very uh, friendly person to us, and uh, RNG is uh, is that person that just hates us, just hates some of us a lot. Okay, so that's probably why they did that, um, and that goes for all the dungeons that have a legendary accessory. So basically, um, Desolate Tomb, Naryu Foundry, um, I believe, Evan Drake Citadel. There it is. That was the name. Evan Drake Citadel also has one. So. Now you can basically get your accessory, even if your RNG is complete crap, you can still get your legendary accessory. You, you know, you just gotta grind out those um special items. Now I again I don't know what these are called, okay? I don't know what these are called, but I believe in the stream or the video they have the name for it. But I just don't remember the name on top of my head right now. So yeah. Alright guys, so next topic. Next topic is gonna be awesome because this is really cool. Now, I have a pet right here, alright? You know what, how about I turn back on my UI? Okay, so I have this pet right here, okay? And do you guys see the pet, right? It has like a little circle around them, right? Now, keep in mind my pet's only stage 1, so, you know, it doesn't really, really matter what kind of stuff I have on it. But, on the next patch, that, that, um, what is that shape? Let's see, hold on. I will identify that shape. That hexagon, I think that's a hexagon, right? Or an octagon, I don't know, but that shape will become an aura. Now that aura is gonna be the pet's power, and then you're gonna get the pet just by itself as a skin. Basically, they're turning the pet into a weapon skin. So, for example, right, if I have a inferno pet, 
and I have another pet right here, or like a lichen cat, uh, a lie candy, or is that a lichen or lie candy? Um, I'm gonna call it like a lichen. So if I have a lichen pet right here, I can swap out my infernal pets um, stats for the for the lichen, and, and I can use the lichen as the skin for my pet. So basically, you're just turning your Scorpio weapon, right? Because the Scorpio is purple, right? And this, if, if I can get it again, my, my Scorpio weapon is purple, as you guys can see from the preview there, right? So purple, but mine is blue. They're basically turning a pet into a skin type now. So that aura is gonna be the one that has all the stats, right? The stats are gonna be that, you know, that you can change the skin, right? So if you fuse the stat, the, the aura of the pet, and the, and the, and the actual pet itself, you can make that pet have all the stats. Basically, you're extracting the life force of the of the pet. <laughs> that, that sounds so cruel, but that's why essentially what you're doing, and and uh, that's um, and that's a way that you can change the skin of your pet. Now, I know that sounds super confusing. If you understand it, I, I applaud you. Okay, I applaud you. But that's what basically it's it's your pet cannot be a weapon skin, which is really good because sometimes I. I mean, I love this pet, okay? It's just that I want, like, I either want the Otter Pet or the Lie Candy Pet because those two, the legendary forms, look really cool. Um, also, the Inferno one is pretty unique as well because the Inferno one, y you turn into like a real demon fire lord, right? So it's pretty cool. But anyways, um, that is the other part of Legendary. Now, I believe... Legend, getting legendary accessories and le getting the actual legendary um, stats are gonna be really, really cool. And uh, just have, just having that higher drop rate is gonna be really awesome. There's also one thing that I didn't, uh, that I forgot to tell you about the pet. They are gonna release a new pet, okay? <sighs> okay. So after the ultimate pet, right? Which I don't have. And I can't tell you because I don't have an ultimate pet. You will be able to get the the ultimate whale of, of all whale, the unleashed pet. Okay, the unleashed pet is basically having. Okay, okay. So say that you have a legendary belt. Okay, you have a legendary belt, and then you have a unleashed pet. That's basically having two belts and having two ultimate pets. Oh my god, that that's so much. Defense like you will you regain so much HP and I believe it gives you 35,000 of free free HP 35,000 do, do you guys understand that 35,000 HP more <laughs> do, do you guys understand this 35,000 HP more on your character plus with legendary soul shield plus with all the other you know stuff that you can have you your character can be hitting over almost 200k HP very very soon like like if you have that much HP you can probably just like stand there and be like you you ain't gonna kill me <laughs> you know what I mean so the unleashed pet gives you a lot of HP I believe it gives you quite a bit of defense as well and it gives you crit defense the ultimate pet does not give you crit defense but the the new unleashed pet will give you crit defense i think it gives you around 200 or 500 or something like that but that's still crit defense from your pet which is extremely extremely powerful so yeah <laughs> Un unleashed pet man freaking unleashed pet my 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 freaking i don't have one of those and they're really really expensive and and then yeah i i, I can't because i'm poor and i'm broke and and yeah uh, anyways Anyways, guys, so, um, I believe that is it. So, what the main thing for Legendary is higher chances of drop rate for every single accessory. All of the Legendary upgrades, um, items that you need to be, to upgrade to Legendary become more, uh, have a, have a high chance to, uh, to drop, not more, have a high chance to drop, um, Titan skins, Naryu tablets, uh, Silver Frost, Silver Frost, Refining Stone, can drop it literally anywhere, um, I believe, what, what else do I need, what else do I need, um, also, Flower of Laments have a higher drop rate from Sugum's Laments, also the Petal as well, 
also like everything that you need except this thing this thing still this thing is still broken like it's it's, it's dumb like it's still broken right but anyways yeah that's that, that's the main thing right there um also i believe that's it not also yeah i think i think that's it but i'm super excited for this update like super duper excited for this update i can't wait to um to play it and it comes out tomorrow of course that i will make a video for it tomorrow and um that will basically cover everything that i just said from the last two videos if you didn't watch the last episode where i cover the ex the aesthetic part of the update and and a freaking broken uh diamond yeah go check that video out you should totally do that and also all right all right i have a q a that's coming up very soon okay i know i keep saying that but don't worry i promise I i've been i've been working on it okay <laughs> <laughs> have a, I, I'm gonna have a Q&A very soon because my channel just hit 600 subscribers So if you have any type of question that you want to ask me feel free to ask me on um, Feel free to ask me down in the comment section down below and I will probably answer it and I mean probably and that means like 99.9 .9 chance that I will probably answer it. Okay guys, so um, make sure uh, to ask me questions, if you have any questions on the updates, uh, make sure you ask. You can ask that down in the comment section below as well. And with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys are excited for this update because I believe this update is going to be one of the updates that will bring back Blade and Soul. Um, because the last update was absolutely terrible. I didn't like it. I I I I, I hated it. All right, guys. So. Um, yeah, guys, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys find this useful, and I'll uh, see you guys then.